Darren, a disappointing defeat here at the Hive. What's the immediate thoughts following that one? Can't defend set pieces, can we? At the end of the day. Um, Cal gives away a cheap free kick in the first half. We They put a ball in the box and play for a, a, a second and we don't win the first or the second. Not good enough. Um, and then, again, Sweeney doesn't complete a simple pass. Um, brings the lad down, cheap free kick out of frustration for his poor pass. Um, and they, they score from that. And it's just, other than that, I think... Lochi's had one one save that he's maybe had to make, but other than that, they've 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 beat us on the back of two set pieces that are our responsibility. So, you know, it's not about it's not always about size. It's about organisation and, and a bit of desire to not get beat by your man. Um, and we had neither of that tonight. Is there also that bit of frustration in the fact that we had chances in that first half? Oh, game they... should be over. Game should be out of sight. You know, we should. Once we go 1-0 up, I thought we started the game really positively. Um, we put some really good balls in the box. We looked promising going forward. Um, we was taking chances. People were gambling off a of pavey and that. Things were falling for us because we were pressing. And, you know, we started the game positively and rightfully took the lead. Um, and then I'm waiting for us to kick on and we, we almost did. Should have should have gone two and three in front. Um, and we didn't. And then they score and I think it... it, it deflated us for maybe 10, 15 minutes in the, in the middle of the first half. But it's just two set pieces. I mean, I think we were comfortable enough in the game, you know, that at the end of the day, we, we, we wasn't clinical enough at one end and we didn't defend set pieces well enough at the other end and we've ended up on the wrong side of the result tonight. We put in a bit of a disjointed second half display, whereas in the first half we were making those chances and getting shots on goal, but that didn't seem to click in the second half. What do you think the cause of that was? They obviously, especially when they went 2-1 up, they had something to protect, so they were quite happy to sit in and, and, and obviously protect what they had and then play on the counter-attack. And then we were just slow in, too slow in possession, you know, side to side. I, you know, I've had to remind them again you know, that I brought Pavey in because he wants to feed off of crosses. Um, he looked a crosses. He looked a handful when balls were going in the box today. They've got to learn very quickly. Um, I mean, listen, Pavey's got to obviously try and score as well, you know, but uh, he, he got in some good areas. But, you know, when teams sit deep, we've got to, we've got to come up with answers. We do enough work on on teams that press us and teams that sit sit off of us, but... You know, there's got to be a bit of common sense out there. We've got a big man who's dominating in the air. Let's put a few balls in the box and take a gamble off of him. But we were quite happy to sort of play slow and switch play, which is which is frustrating because it's something we speak about. Just how big will the game this following Saturday be now, following the result tonight? Alison, it just makes it bigger, doesn't it? You know, it, we knew that we was going into two home games that were really important. And obviously losing tonight means that just puts more pressure on for for Saturday's game, but you know the, the, we got to dust ourselves down quickly, and you know I'm I'm sure once we look back at it, there'll be enough positives. But the two outstanding disappointment uh, disappointing moments with a with a set pieces got got to do better than that.